Today I'm going to talk to you about a slider. This is the college's Rat Rig V Slider 60, 60 being the actual length of it. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about how to put it together and what I'd recommend. I thought I'd start off by showing you a fully built up um, slider system. This one is put onto a tripod, which I really recommend you do at all times. And uh, I've attached a fluid head and a DSLR camera to show you how it's put together fully. This one, as you can see, I can show you how it does a very smooth sliding effect. It's a bit like a dolly, um, obviously a lot shorter, but if you want to get small, short sort of um, sliding movements, dolly shots, then you can use this. I also think it's very nice to use as a pan and tilt as well. Um, I'm using it just now as a pan and it's a lovely movement and whilst I'm using it I'm very much aware of the ends of it so it doesn't donk against the end which would ruin your video so when you are using it I would consider and plan your shot to have it finished before you get to the end of your shot just like that well maybe not as accurately Right, now we're going to dismantle it and I'll put it together and uh, show you how to do that. Right, as you can see, it's been dismantled and I have just the tripod here with no head on top at all. That's just the base unit and I'm going to put it back together for you. So we pick up our um, slider. I've screwed in just here the locking device to stop it from moving at all whilst I'm doing it which is far easier and safer and now what I do is I locate the screw hole there are two on here then um, so it depends which tripod you're using but most of our are Manfrotto so they have the same tripod mount just there and that's the larger one and I literally just screw it in very carefully don't go fast we don't want it to fly off it's definitely secure there we go it's locked in now I can loosen off the slider, and as you can see, it moves up and down perfectly well. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put the tripod head on there as well. I'm going to lock it again because it's far safer. The tripod I'm using has the larger uh, socket, and I've put an adapter on here to allow it to take that one. So I'm just going to screw that on. There we go. Again, just whirl it around. That it locates without hitting your ID badge. There we go. Okay, so that's on. When you are putting on the tripod head, I would recommend that you lock the pan completely to allow you to get it on. And also you need to unlock it to be able to remove the tripod head. So I've locked it there and now I can remove it, you see. Okay, so I'm now going to unlock it so I can use it and I'm going to undo my quick release. I'll just lower it down a smidge so you can see. And as I said, I have a quick release plate already on my camera. So it's ready for me to just to locate into the slot and then it locks in. And there we go. That is the uh, camera all rigged up on the slider. I'll just unlock it from the side and now we've got the full working slider on here, which you can use just for lovely sliding movements. Or if you wanted to, you can use it to pan with as you slide, and you can use it to pan and tilt if you wanted to, yeah? There are lots and lots of different options for you to use. Now, as I said, this is 60 centimeters long, and you must be aware of the ends, otherwise it will donk and it will show up in your video.